Hello and welcome all of you to my YouTube channel Animals and Pets with Pato. Uh, today I am going to talk to you about stray dogs. Uh, the stray dog situation in our country is really alarming. Uh, it is also heartening that there are so many uh, uh, people, small groups, uh, organization, uh, uh, even individuals uh, all across who are uh, so much conscious and they take so much care about the stray dogs. But we must think also that how we should reduce this number of strays, how we should sort of uh, do not uh, allow this stray dog population to continuously keep increasing. Uh, because see, these stray dogs live in great stress. They are begging for food for food all day. And okay, you provide them with food. But what happens is the care is not there. So what happens? They don't live their full life. Uh, most of them uh, die of accidents, road accidents. And uh, if they don't die, they are crippled. And then what happens is uh, even if you feed them, then there are dog fights where they get injured. And then those injury uh, the, uh, sort of uh, which need to be tended to, uh, uh, nobody is there to look after it. And then what happens, there are maggot wounds and that eats into the dog and finally it dies. So there are only a few years that these stray dogs in Calcutta, uh, at least I'm talking of my city and around, that you know, and most uh, stray dogs of course around the country would also be facing the same problem. So what happens is they are in all the time they are in suffering and they are in stress and we as dog lovers it is extremely heartbreaking for us to see dogs suffer and since i have been involved in the treatment of dogs for the last 50 years and i've run a veterinary clinic and a surgery and i have had the opportunity of working with numerous veterinary surgeons and also i as a, as a dog judge and i'm sort of a dog lover uh, I have been in contact with hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, people in the dog world, thousands in fact, and there are a lot of them, uh, some of them uh, also work for NGOs and they do uh, sort of sterilization work on stray dogs. But let me just explain, this is a growing business. Now the sterilization centers do not want that the numbers of dogs should reduce, I tell you, this is the fact. If it is, if we can contain and re completely reduce and, uh, the number of strays, then most of these centers will have to close down. So, see, the government definitely or other organizations, whoever do sterilization, I know that don't, they don't even have an identification mark when they sterilize the dog. Uh, I know of uh, some people who are actually working for the uh, uh, government uh, uh, sort of the administration here who are uh, operating on stray animals every day and um, uh, they only will attend to a dog when there is a complaint from the local uh, counselor and then the dog is picked up and is operated and then brought back and left in the same area but then where is the marking you can what happens is there are situations where you operate the dog for the second time to realize that it's been already operated upon. So all these organizations, and in fact I will just mention about one of them, uh, there's an organization in the hills in Darjeeling called the Pet Animal Lover Society. They are a wonderful group of young people uh, who actually uh, have done a yeoman's job in looking after the stray animals, uh, particularly dogs in the region of Darjeeling. But at the same time, I would request that they should now also think in the lines that a massive sterilization program uh, should be undertaken. And every dog, every bitch that you sterilize, you have at least 15, 20 puppies in his lifetime that is going to produce, who are going to again go through the same stress. You can't continuously keep so, so today you are feeding 100 dogs, then after five years you have 200 dogs. That is, you after five years actually you should have only five dogs, not five, 200 or 500 dogs. So that is most important. So 
the an effort to sterilize this dog are most important. I will tell you that okay, we are dog lovers. We will put up in anything with dog. We will, under no circumstances we will want that people uh, harm stray dogs. Uh, you know, uh, at all uh, and under any circumstances. But there are a lot of people who are not as passionate a uh, dog lover as we are. So what happens is uh, they because uh, if they object, they feel that if they object or if they complain, then there'll be a group of people who will be uh, sort of uh, branding them as anti-animal lover or anti-dog lover. But then we must pay some heed. So I, I'm just talking to you, telling you about a gentleman that I uh, uh, was staying with uh, a couple of days ago in uh, uh, Darjeeling area. Uh, he runs a beautiful homestay there. And he is, I know he's a dog lover, he's an animal lover. He's a very, very reasonable person. And then when I was mentioning about this sterilization program to him, just telling him that this is how it should be done. We should not allow more and more dogs to be bred or beggars, dogs that are begging should not be producing more dogs uh, that would be again begging for food and shelter and uh, looking after. So we should reduce the number. We must realize that so that they have a good life. Then they're, they're not under stress. Say every six months they get pregnant and they deliver a litter and they are searching for food for themselves and then for the for those little uh, uh, just to have milk so that it can uh, keep the puppies alive. So it's such a, a real stress on the mother. We must see that they, they don't produce any more puppies. And so he just mentioned that I was in Sikhi. Yes, it's it very true because I was in Sikkim and I couldn't sleep. There was so much of uh, stray dogs uh, barking in the night. So, you know, these are genuine uh, feelings of people who are animal lovers. I wouldn't say they are anti-animal um, uh, 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 lovers, but they are animal lovers. Uh, but then what happens is uh, this is a genuine uh, problem that do as animal lovers, as dog lovers, we all should address. And uh, uh, I, uh, I know uh, the, whatever, uh, I am not trying to complain about the people who are already involved in the sterilization business. But I would suggest that this, uh, the dog lovers whose heart goes out to take care of the stray dogs on the streets and they're feeding them day in and day out, they should, uh, these are these people who have the right mentality to uh, end their suffering, at least go in, the, in that direction. So uh, they must uh, think of also putting their effort in starting a uh, really uh, 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 effective sterilization program should be sponsored by them uh, and there should be more organization, they should get together, put in their efforts and uh, see that not only the sterilization is done but as soon as the dog is sterilized they must be uh, tattooed and a permanent marking must be done and that number should be uh, uh, should have a register where it would say that it has been sterilized. So uh, with these words I will end but then uh, this is a very important uh, issue we must all address it uh, because uh, we are uh, as dog lovers we do not want to uh, put stress on people who are, may not be as passionate as we are about the strains. So uh, uh, thank you and see you again in my next episode. I will talk to you about uh, various procedures and various organizations that actually are devoting uh, uh, their efforts to look into the problems of our stray dogs, which it needs uh, to be addressed in a, uh, in a uh, sort of matter of urgency and we should not allow uh, at all the population of stray dogs to grow in our country. Thank you.